Baby, this is real food. What we learned, of course, the importance that our product is fermented and manufactured and all our organic comes from Australia. That seems to be the no GMO, how serious they are about that. How our gut is the real fermentation and all this is done is, you know, replicating what we do in our own gut. Yeah. But the problem is we don't do that in our own gut anymore. We don't ferment right. anymore. Well, maybe we ferment, we just don't do it well. Right, exactly. So we're not breaking down our foods properly. To your health. To your health. I love it. It's really good. It's just doing its job. And then you came up with an amazing method, but you also add in a mother culture that puts in all this good bacteria, so the enzymes from the vegetables and the grains and the sea vegetables and this mother culture have this synergy together that is amazing. And we get the enzymes from the bacteria. Oh, so enzymes also come from the bacteria yeah, too. Well, they don't have any teeth, not like us, so they make enzymes to break down their foods that they like. So the enzymes are kind of the teeth of the bacteria. Yeah. that break down the food while it's being fermented. Yeah. When you're making a liquid like this, what would the firm flora process look like? What do you start with, like the mother culture? What is the mother culture and why is it so incredibly valuable? Bacteria are opportunists. They all live happily together. Like you can have equal amounts. That's good bacteria, that's bad bacteria. You put the two together, they'll live happily ever after. They can live comfortably together like that. But if you put those two together, there's your bad and there's your good, there's no bad. So you have to over-colonize your body to start with. Over-colonize. What would it look like if you were over-colonizing? Does that well, mean taking these products? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Best way to tell it is when you look in the pan after you've been to the toilet and it looks like a big smile and it's floating. <laughs> you know you've got there. Okay. And it doesn't smell. Right. <laughs> There's another test we can do at home. <laughs> How funny, it really is true that the, the poo smell test. <laughs> That's not the best task right. to do. We're I mean, all going home and well, doing that yes. task. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Let's talk a little bit about the other benefit of fermentation, which is the bacteria. So we don't like the word bacteria a lot unless we really know what bacteria does because we've been taught to think that bacteria is all bad, but it's actually quite good. Your stomach and my stomach, everybody's stomach is just a fermentation fat. You can't digest anything properly unless you have good gut flora to be able to do it for you. The firm flora process is mimicking what happens in the gut. Another job they do, they're the scrubbers and cleaners of our bodies. They'll clean us from our lips down. Our billies in the small intestine, they clean the billies, they clean our urinary tract, they clean our bowel, they clean our kidneys, they clean our pancreas, and they even, I don't know whether it's been scientifically proven, but they even think that they may even clean the lung. Wow. You say, well, they're not important, but then, you know, they are. I mean, they're part of us. We can't live without them, and we assault them so badly with antibiotics and alcohol, fatty food. Stress. Stress is up with your B group vitamins. You've got no way of storing it, so you know, if you've got good gut flora, you've got a good chance you're not gonna stress. Right. It'll take the stress out of your right. life. It's a cycle. On the grasses, in the soil, out of the grasses, through the mouth, out the back of an animal, back into the ground again, and that's nature's way of doing it, and that's what we do. We mimic what happens in nature. The liquids and the powders create enzymes, good bacteria, and amino acids. So by taking this, you pretty much also can help the other food that you're eating work yeah, better. Because your stomach is just a fermentation pack. Right. You know, I mean, there's nothing famous about what I'm doing. All I'm doing is mimicking what is in your gut. So if you're actually improving your enzymes in your body, improving yeah. your good bacteria, yeah. balancing out your bad bacteria, yeah. and then the other foods that you eat, your salad or your sandwich or whatever, it has all those good things already going going on, yeah. so when it comes down, it's yeah. got help. So then you digest your foods. Yeah. So the firm flora process actually helps to deliver this bacteria into our bodies. How was it that you wanted to take from nature and recreate it so that we could put it into our bodies and help our bodies get what they needed? To make white flour in America, you have to bleach the flour, you have to chlorinate the flour, which is, well, what's chlorine do? It kills all bacteria, kills all your gut. Right. Same as preservatives. Preservatives are in foods to kill all bacteria. They're not in there for your protection, they're there for the protection of the product. Right. And you eat the product, of course, you're going to kill 
you've got flora. Where's the sense in that? Mm -hmm. How can you digest what you've just eaten when you've just eaten something that's going to kill the people who are going to do the job for you? Right. You know, it's, uh, it seems so senseless to me. Load their meats, you know, like hamburger mints and sausages and frankfurts and hot dogs and all these sorts of things. They're loaded with some horrendous preservatives. And these are the processed foods that, from the American perspective, probably make up a good portion of the American diet. Yeah. So that would make sense that eating these processed foods with preservatives or eating things that have chlorine in your water, fluoride in your water, all these things are contributing to the and killing of good kill, bacteria. To kill all bacteria. They don't purposely set out to kill the good bacteria, but they kill all bacteria, so that includes and the bad. Okay.